I had recorded this video already and then I realised that I was completely out of shot because I'm such an amateur so I'm going to have to film this for you again but hopefully I've gotten kind of my rambliness out already and I can just get on with talking to you about the products because that's what we're here for. But I'm going to talk to you today about my favourite products in the month of November. I can't believe we're at the end of November already, it means that it's nearly Christmas time which is super exciting and um, I have been trying a lot of different products this month. I've been trying a lot of kind of Christmassy things as well that I won't talk about until kind of December favourites because I haven't been using them for long enough but I'm going to jump right into it and the first things I'm going to talk to you about are makeup and the first thing that I've got here are a similar product from different brands and these are kind of chubby stick dupes. Now I've got the MUA Power Pout which is this one right here in Broken Hearted. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. I really like this. I really like the MUA Power Pouts in general. I think they're really really good and the um, finish of these is really lovely because it's quite glossy but it doesn't kind of dry your lips out. I think the colours they do are lovely and they're a great price point. And then I've also got the Soap and Glory um, Sexy Mother Pucker in Futuristic which is a slightly kind of brighter version. Very pretty, again, glossier and um, kind of a little bit more luxurious feeling, but I love things like this during the cooler months because my lips get really dry and these kind of don't make the situation even worse. And then I've got a couple of face products here as well. The first thing is a powder, and this is by Miners, and it's their Fresh Faced Powder, which just looks like this very basic packaging. The packaging is actually annoying, it's kind of hard to open. But it just looks like this. This is in the shade Soft Sand. And I've been just applying this all over my foundation in the morning to set it. And it's been really working because I felt like all the things I was using before were just a bit too heavy. This is really nice. My skin has been a bit drier lately and I've been really enjoying using this, it's great. And it's not too kind of powdery looking either. And then I've got a highlighter here that I've been loving. And this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter. I really like this. Um, I'll swatch it here for you. It's just a very beautiful kind of shimmery highlighter that looks lovely um, on your cheeks. It's not too glittery and it just really kind of gives that beautiful lift. I've been really um, loving using highlighter again because my skin's been kind of a bit dry and dull. And then this is a MUA blush. I'm not... Um, being sponsored by anyway. I just have bought so many of their products lately because every time I go in there, they're on three for two and I just can't help myself. And this is the Cream Blush in Lush, which looks super bright, but it's very blendable. Really nice and really wearable, the Cream Blushes. And I've used so many nice things from MUA recently that I'm really, um, impressed with and um, the price of them is just great and they're just really lovely products so both of these I've been really really enjoying and every time I go into Superdrug I pick up a couple of bits just to try and even if I don't like them they're so inexpensive that I don't mind. Then I have also got a mascara here that I've been really loving and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Mascara. Now I don't like using this during the day, I prefer this at night because it is very dramatic and it doesn't last as well and for the daytime I need my mascara to kind of stay looking perfect for longer. But at night time this is really nice and it really provides that kind of full lash effect. And the brush is just your kind of standard um, brush which I don't normally get on with but with this for some reason it works and I really like it. And then I've got two, well three actually, nail polishes here. The first one is actually a top coat and I've got a little scoop for you with this. This is the number seven Stay Perfect Top Coat. I go through top coats like no one's business and I've tried so many. I like the Sally Hansen ones. Um, Seche Vite was too thick and gloopy for me but I've, I've tried a lot and I use them very, very frequently. I'm a heavy user of top coats, shall we say. And I got this with a number seven voucher back in the summer. This is actually my second one I repurchased and I repurchased this on eBay because I found out that they are a lot cheaper. They're two pounds on eBay versus six pounds if you buy them in store and they're exactly the same and you're saving yourself four pounds, which is fantastic. So just search for that on eBay and you'll be able to find it really, really expensive and it really does help to make your nails, um, make your nail polish last. Then I, had used this before and I did like the colour but the staying power wasn't great but teamed with the number seven um, top coat staying power is lovely and this is the Killer Colours nail polish in Firewater which is a nice kind of purpley burgundy colour. It shows up more burgundy on the nails than purple but this is really really nice and really autumnal. 
even though it's not really autumn, autumn, <laughs> it's not really autumn now, it's getting to be winter. And then this is the Essie Nail Polish in Penny Talk, which I didn't like to begin with, but now it's grown back into my good books and I really enjoy it. I've, I wore it last um, not last week, the week before, and I had it on for about a week before it started to chip and it was really nice. And I took it off just because I wanted to change the colour, but it hadn't chipped at all. I love Essie nail polishes. Um, then I've got a fragrance here for you, which is um, one that I have, I think I've had it in a favourites before. And in the summer I was wearing it only at night, it was kind of more of a nighttime fragrance, but I've been wearing it during the day now because although it is strong, it's not something that's... Um, it's not too, too strong to wear in the day in the winter. I feel like in the winter you can get away with wearing things that are slightly stronger. And this is the Kim Kardashian fragrance, the original one. The bottle's not all that, but it just smells really lovely. It's very floral and powdery. That's kind of the two main things you get from it. So if you don't like floral and you don't like powdery scents, you're not going to like this. I really do. And I just think it's really different and smells really um, kind of cosy and sexy and quite grown up, which I like. Then I have got some skincare items here. Actually, I've got one more makeup item that I didn't mention. This is the Avon um, Silken Foundation. I've only had this for about a week and a half, but I feel confident enough mentioning it because I know that I love it. And this is what the packaging looks like. But the bottle itself is beautiful. It's £10 and it's amazing. I'm wearing it on my skin today. It's so luminous and beautiful and light and just really really a great great drugstore product I know Avon's not strictly drugstore but it's, it comes with this gold pump the packaging is gorgeous and it's got an SPF of 20 but it doesn't give you flashback in photos and I just think it's a really unusual product and I'm so glad that I got to try this because I'd have never even known about it and I absolutely love it so something like this you know is a great example of when people complain about um that we get sent um, PR samples. I'd have never even discovered this, I'd have never known about it, but I know about it now, and I've tried it, and I love it, and I can recommend to you guys that I've tried it, and I love it. So it's not, you know, it's not all bad, because we get to talk about things that otherwise you might not know about. Then um, another product that I've been using to take my makeup off is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. Now, I, um, I've been using this take my makeup off because as I said my skin's been a little bit dry so I've been just taking my eye makeup off normally and then applying this all over and taking it off with a flannel takes makeup off beautifully even the heaviest coverage foundation works a treat then um, I've been using this Caudalie it's well they market it as a kind of micellar water basically it's the makeup removing cleansing water and it's great for that but I've been using it as a toner because I've stopped using my Boots Botanics um, cleansing bright toner or whatever that's called because my skin's been being quite red lately and I felt like that was just making it worse because obviously it's got alcohol in it and brightening agents but this is really lovely and I just kind of swipe it all over my face after cleansing and it really just freshens your skin up and it doesn't feel tight but it doesn't feel oily either I'd really really recommend this it's a lovely product I wouldn't kind of waste it on taking my makeup off but as a toner it's brilliant and then another quarterly product is the, and you can see I've used this a lot, it's the Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. This is a nice kind of grainy textured exfoliator. I really like these types of things. It might be too much for some. It's not as harsh as the Botanics Microdermabrasion Exfoliator that I love, but very nice. You can sort of see the particles are quite um, large. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's kind of like a cream, but the particles are quite large. But it really does brighten your skin and make everything look all shiny and lovely and new. And then I have got two Soap and Glory products because I went to the Soap and Glory blogger event, the Christmas event um, earlier on in the month, and I got to try two products that I'd never tried before, and I've tried a lot of Soap and Glory things, but happened to just never have picked these up. And this is the Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. I am obsessed with this. I've been using it every single night because it's that amazing. And I've never even picked it up, but it's got glycerine, macadamia oil, menthol, bilberry, orange, lemon, and fruit acid smoothers. And it's kind of a weird cream because it's blue. <laughs> and it doesn't smell that amazing. It doesn't have that classic, lovely, sip and glory scent, but it smooths your feet like no other. And I definitely, definitely will be repurchasing this once I've finished it because I've been using it every single night and it's so emollient and it really moisturizes your feet. And I do get quite dry kind of feet, not badly, but kind of badly enough to warrant using something. And this is just really, really, really amazing. Star product of this video. Love it. 
and then the righteous butter was another one and I normally save body butters and use them in the evening but I have a shower in the morning and I have a shower in the evening as well and I decided that I wanted to use something that's not really nice in the morning because I wanted to smell nice. I've just developed a bit of an issue with it because <laughs> I've developed an issue with smelling nice because I stink. No, not because of that. Um, because I don't know what it is, it's probably just my skin but Fragrances don't last on me. It doesn't matter what I put on. You just can't smell it. I never smell like shower gel when I come out of the shower. I just, I don't, my body doesn't kind of keep fragrance on it. So I thought I'll use a nice body lotion that smells nice. And maybe that's a better way of keeping the fragrance on you. It does work. I still, you know, could do with kind of smelling like strong product all the time. I love that. But this is really nice anyway. And this is the Righteous Butter. Don't know if I mentioned that while I was waffling. But this just smells so nice. It's very kind of sweet, but it's not overly sweet, and it's just a beautiful kind of very girly scent. It's classic Soap and Glory, and I've been using it for a month, and that's how much I've used, so it goes a long way. I know they do it in the tube, the squeezy tubes, but um, I don't like that packaging as much. I think this is better. And then, last but not least, I have a candle here, and this is a... Oh, I'm, I've not got the packaging anymore, but it's the... Mm, that company of candles that do the ones that change lights. I can't remember what it's called, I'm really sorry. But it's the cinnamon one basically and it just comes in this kind of frosted glass and you burn it and it changes colours. I thought that was kind of cute. I bought it in like somewhere random like Savers or the Pound Shop or somewhere just because I thought it smelled nice and I wanted one for my bedroom. And I tend to kind of save my nice candles for like the living room and that kind of thing and then in the bedroom because I never burn them for very long. I don't mind having a normal standard candle but I think this was from like um air wick or something like that I'll put an annotation somewhere or down below I'll have to find what found out what it's called for you but I really like this and I like the fact it changes colors if I had my candle lighting thing I would show you now how it changes colors but I haven't got one so yeah those are all my beauty favorites and now I'm gonna just move on to my random favorites the first two are two movies that I've seen this month. Um, I'm going to go and see The Hunger Games soon as well, but um, I was waiting till the kind of hyper died down and it wasn't as busy. But the two movies that I've seen this month are Prisoners and The Frozen Ground. Prisoners is kind of like a drama, crime type of thing with Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. Really good, really um, sort of like a cross between Gone Baby Gone, which is great by the way, and Mystic River, if you've seen either of those films, it's kind of like a cross between that, but how it ends isn't at all what you thought was going to happen, who the baddie was, it wasn't who you thought it was, and it's very twisty and just great, great acting too, and I love Jake Gyllenhaal. And then The Frozen Ground is Nicolas Cage and Vanessa Hudgens and John Cusack, and that's kind of based on a true story about a serial killer in Alaska who killed loads and loads of women and used to bury their bodies kind of like in the frozen ground up in the mountains. A really, really good film. I love Nicolas Cage. And then um, I've got two TV shows. The first one is The Conversation with Amanda Decadene. It's like an interview program about celebrity women basically. They have loads of different famous women on it and it's really interesting. She asks some really kind of intimate in-depth questions and it's lovely. And the second one is Devious Maids, which is by the makers of Desperate Housewives. I should have mentioned this in my last favourites. I've written it down, but I somehow forgot. But I've been watching that for ages. It's really, really cute. And if you like Desperate Housewives, you'll definitely like this. It's very similar. And if you miss Desperate Housewives, you'll enjoy watching something like that because I miss Desperate Housewives. And then my favourite YouTuber of the month has been... Um, someone called Nicola Whitehead and she's a nutritionist from the UK which is nice because I feel like a lot of the diet slash nutrition videos that are out um, are kind of very much targeted at US um, people and I like one that you can kind of relate to a little bit more so I really like that. I'll put her link down below and that is it. Oh my other favourite thing, the M&S Christmas advert. Let me know what your favourite Christmas advert this year is. Mine's definitely the M&S one. It's got Rosie Huntington Whiteley and Beautiful Stories and Helena Bonham Carter. I know everyone likes the John Lewis one, but the M&S one's my cup of tea. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my December favourites again um, same time next month, which is pretty exciting. And yeah, don't forget to give the video a big, big thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know what your favourites of this month were and if you've seen any of the programmes or TV um, programmes programs or movies that I've talked about as well. That would be really cool and I will see you next time. Bye!